Peanuts here. Get your peanuts. Anybody from New York, you know what I'm talking about. Peanuts here. Get your peanuts. This year, I decided to grow peanuts just for fun because I really wanted to know how in the world do peanuts grow. And especially that, I know you can grow peanuts in the ground, but can you grow peanuts in a container? Of course you can because look how nice my peanuts are. Let's go. What's going on my plant peoples? I'm the ADHD gardener where I use gardening house plants and humor as a much needed form of mental health therapy, sobriety, and learning how to navigate this crazy ass world with ADHD using tips, tricks, and hacks that we find in our garden. And one of those is definitely patience because you're gonna need it when you're growing peanuts. Before we get started, have you smashed that like button? I would really appreciate it. And this actually pushes the, my video out to further people so that we can all grow peanuts together. Oh, but Jack, I don't have patience. I don't want to wait so long for a peanut. Well, then you're not going to grow a peanut. But if you're trying to learn and practice some patience, learning how to grow some patience, you can start growing the peanut because they take stinking forever, yo. They take at least a minimum of 120 days. Yo, that's like four months or something like that. That takes forever. Just like spicy peppers because spicy peppers take a very long time as well. This is how we can learn patience in our garden by growing some slow ass growing plants, just like the peanut. We're gonna be harvesting all these peanuts today because I need the container, but I guess we might as well learn a little something something about the peanut. Well, my patience has paid off because I waited a very very long time for these peanuts and we're gonna be digging them up but the first thing that we can talk about is the fact that yes you can grow them in containers fun fact about the peanuts is that they spread which is another reason why you would want to grow them in containers to control the spread now they do spread through rhizomes underneath the soil but in a way if you do want a lot of peanuts and you don't mind the spread then go for it growing them in directly in the ground but if you have a problem with that then you can grow them in a container no problem this plant seems to just be vining out because the more of these little, um, right here where the nodes are, I'm noticing that this is where this gets uh, like attached to the soil. Look, a leftover flower. Right there too. Oh, right in here also. I forgot another thing. When this plant starts to flower, the flowers are yellow and they're pretty cool, but those flowers is where they're gonna grow the peanuts from, right? And that flower needs to touch the soil. Who knew about that? I had no idea that that needs to go like and touch the soil. And that's where these little runners come from right off of the main stem. Ah, this is a perfect example. Look at that. One stem has like these other mini stems that just anchor themselves into the soil. Another thing that they like is loose sandy soil. If you don't have access to sand or whatever, then it's all good. You can still grow them in your regular containers or, or in your garden beds. The thing is that you really want loose soil because being that you are eating what's underneath the ground, you wanna be able to easily pick them up out of the soil. This is why you would incorporate sand into your containers or your ground because of that draining element that sand offers. Perlite is a great option when it comes to containers because you can just add a bunch of perlite in handfuls and then that will definitely promote some drainage. You can even use perlite inside of your garden beds if you wanted to. Another thing is that they like an acidic soil. So it doesn't matter if it's container or ground, let it be a little slightly acidic. You know, 5.8 would be nice, 6.2 would be awesome, all right? You know what I mean? That low, slightly acidic soil. You will start to develop a lot of plant problems if your soil is above a 7.0. I mean, what, 6.8 is like the max of it? So your plant will struggle if your soil is not as acidic. So just throwing that out there. You can always add soil acidifiers. If you wanna go natural, you can always just use peat moss as a soil acidifier. It takes a lot longer though in order to acidify your soil. You know how blueberry plants love their soil super acidic and if your blueberries are not acidic, you're gonna have problems with the plants? Same thing with the peanuts. They love an acidic soil. So do not surpass 6.8 because you know what? Your plant will suffer and it will suffer bad. Another thing that they like is a lot of sun. Notice where I'm at. I am burning up because that sun is directly in my face. So that's why I got my shades on, but the peanuts absolutely love it. So this is perfectly situated where this gets at least minimum of six hours of direct sunlight a day. Now it can stand shade because this totally gets shade. But then again, remember, it's not gonna get as big and large as you would ideally want it to be. It can tolerate some serious sun. So maybe if you get at least eight hours, it can handle that too. Not only are the peanuts sun loving, but they love heat. They are a summer plant. So if you live down south, you can grow these for a longer period of time and you'll definitely get more peanuts than us people up north. Peanuts thrive in the summertime. They love the heat, they love the humidity, they love everything about the summer. 
which is kind of why I love this peanut plant also because I love the summer as well. If you do have a longer, I don't want to say summertime, but you have longer periods of heat, boy, you can get a boatload of peanuts because remember, these not only take forever to grow, they also need a lot of heat to make that happen. As long as you don't have frost. Now I'm in late September already. If I wanted to, I could let this go all the way until October because there is no frost but I would not surpass October. Remember, I'm in zone 6B, so I would not push it after that, but you never know what the boundaries of it to push. Ah, there we go, Chip and Peanut, just chilling in my garden, as they usually do. In the beginning of the summer, I only planted two peanut plants, so that means I have one and two, but since then, they have seemed to have spread around, so we're gonna be pulling up one peanut and see what we get. Oh man, imagine if I had more space, I definitely would have gotten more peanuts. All right, so I needed definitely more looser soil because that was a little bit of a pain in the butt to pull out. So that means I know I have a lot of peanuts still in the ground. That's okay, but look at that, peanuts. Okay, time to pull up the second peanut plant. This one was a lot larger than the first one. So we can only just imagine how many peanuts are in here. Maybe I should loosen up the soil. I think that's a good idea. I already see one peanut, okay. Speaking of which, one of my dog's name is Peanut and she just likes basking in the sun on that landscape fabric. Hey, that's pretty cool. That is definitely cool right there. Look at that. If you had one plant per container, you probably would have gotten a lot more peanuts. If you notice at the bottom of these roots, there's little bolitas that are right there. So that's telling me that I would definitely would have been able to grow a lot more peanuts had I had more time and also more space. Definitely. But you know what? So far, so good. I know I'm definitely going to be testing this out next year. I just know that I need more space in order to make more peanuts happen. And then also they move on to their outer shell. It's all white. And then as they keep growing, they get a little further white with a little of the indentations on them. Then after that, they grow like a full-blown peanut. I gotta say, this is so much fun. I've never grown peanuts before and this is a happy surprise. I cannot wait to grow more peanuts. Look at this. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if this is how you would do it if you're trying to eat them, but I know that for now I'm trying to store them as seeds. So what I'm gonna do is actually remove the peanut from the plant itself and then just let them dry. I want them to be completely dried up like you, you know, like the peanuts that you would get in a store or anything like that. I want them all dried up. Once those peanuts are super dried up, then you can store them. But for now, let's just say you have the peanuts and you want to start growing them right now, you're gonna get your dried up peanut, crack them open, and then just gonna put them in your soil. If you do live up north like I do, you're gonna have to start these suckers indoors where it's nice and warm and then transplant them outside as the plant starts to grow. That's the only way that you're gonna get a heads up start on the summer season. If you live down south, you all if you live down south, you good to go. You can just plant basically whenever you feel like it because you got some great love and heat. I think I must have started like eight to ten peanuts indoors and only two of them survived. Remember, if the heat is not there, they will rot inside of the ground. So just know that you may want to plant a lot more peanuts than you originally intended because you never know how many of them are going to die off. I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down in the comments below. Have you tried to grow some peanuts before? And if you have, how successful were you? And don't forget, if you didn't succeed the first time, try, try again, because you know, we're always learning and it's okay to make mistakes in gardening. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And until the next episode, you guys, where you and me both are gonna be growing our happiness one plant at a time, one day at a time. God bless you all. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace and love.